Thank you, Chair. Thank you very much. I've been suffering from bullying, discrimination, and manipulative laws for more than three years. And I continue to suffer. And my family, with a teenage son who proudly represents our country and county in chess and math, suffers. When I raised this issue, rather than any concern, I was muddled, deselected, and a false complaint of being aggressive was made against me. The charge of aggression was, I contained solely, based on a single email that I sent to the then leader of the group, who is present here, at least two years ago. I talked about karma and questioned why perhaps God had chosen me to eradicate the rotten apples in our garden. That was it. That was really it. No aggression, no violence, no threats. And there was no action or complaint at that time. But when the Lib Dems learned last Christmas that I intend to leave the party in what I regard as a preemptive attack, they approached to the police in an attempt to rubbish my good name. There are several additional instances of being insulted, maligned, and slandered by some senior members of this council sitting here before us. They know who they are. I'm very, very sorry to say that I believe the roots of some of these attacks are based, and again, sorry, the word R, racism, direct, indirect, and One institution. Right, Councillor Kumar, could I just um, just pause you there? Can you pause the the um, uh, right? Uh, do be very aware of the rules of council that you should um, always respect other councillors and not use inflammatory language. So sure, can you can you please uh, bear that in mind? Thank sure, you. Madam. So, Council Carrick, you rightly say, we have a code of conduct that we must adhere to. It states we must act with integrity and honesty. Second, treat all persons fairly with respect. And third, lead by example and an act in a way that secures public confidence in the role of councillor. And that's what I am speaking, that we need to build communities. I've always said that resolving a conflict is much more rewarding than dissolving professional relationship. The whole community and our community from South Asia they're bewildered. And that's why we need to build the communities. The leaders of the local Dib Libdems have made public a statement that I am the perpetrator and not a victim. Time Excellent. Is Let us go to the truth. And my final point, I today beseech you to support me in my call for a full investigation, which has occurred to me by the Standard Committee or any other panel containing independent voices that seek the truth. I asked the monitoring officer to make this app happen. Lesson needs to be learned. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Councillor Kumar.